Hello, hello and very much welcome here in our beautiful city of Berlin. Today I want to demonstrate to you the video camera called FS5 by Sony connected to different lenses. There is a standard lens SELP 18105G but since the camera is equipped with an E-mount it can be connected to all kind of other different lenses. Here you can already have a look at what it looks like with this lens. It is actually quite big this lens. In front the lens is even equipped with a lens shade. It is part of the G series of Sony. And here on the left side of the lens there is a little switch which allows smooth zooming from wide angle to telezoom. Now for a second I'm going to place myself inside of the picture. I'm also coming a little bit closer to the lens. So basically all functions here now they're set to automatic mode. And in so far you can have an impression of what kind of image is possible to receive by using this camera together with this lens. We have a nice light which is caused by the sun down. To finish up this first lens I'm going to apply a little zoom and then afterwards we immediately will have a look at the next lens as part of our review. Yeah, very nice. And now we immediately go on with a remarkable wide angle. That's why immediately now in the lower part of the image the shadow of the camera and myself becomes evident. This is now a 12mm full format lens. But since the Super 35mm sensor inside the FS5 is smaller than a full format sensor, this specific lens equals an 18mm lens. The outer shape of the glass is quite bulged or curved if you will. And same as I did before I will also now move into the image so that you can have an impression of how it would look like with a person placed in front of the camera lens. This lens of course is a fully manual lens. That means focus and aperture on the lens can be controlled manually. I'm just going to move a little bit closer here. This is now a setting where the focus is more set to a near distance so that even with this close focal distance you may still be able to perceive some parts of the background as well and if not so then you can just roll back the focus to uh, an infinity distance with such a wide angle lens or fisheye lens actually the depth of field topic is not as critical as with any other lens now we are going to check a 35mm Zeiss lens, which also of course has been developed for the Sony E-mount. You can imagine it like this. And actually also if I will now take away the lens cap, then the camera has immediate access to the automatic iris control. Also the focus is running properly in automatic mode. This I am still now going to demonstrate by placing myself one more in front of the picture. It's a beautiful 35mm lens which equals more or less a 50mm. That's a really nice and interesting thing for cinema shots also. I'm also going to move closer again to be able to demonstrate how the autofocus is reacting to movement in front of the camera so this is the immediate impression that you have the whole lens actually it's very compact and as well extremely light you hear already I'm a big fan of this lens and now here we have one more lens which is a 50 millimeter lens with a maximum aperture of 1.4 it's actually quite an ancient lens SAL 51.4 SAL stands basically for all the Sony A mount lenses 
and especially because it has this incredible aperture of 1.4 it could be super interesting to work with this lens together on the fs5 since we also connected the lens with the original sony laea4 lens adapter which gives us access to the autofocus function but unfortunately the fs5 is not able to control the aperture of this lens same situation as with the a7r2 if you connect it to some older lenses with the laea4 adapter probably it's just a software driver problem but sony cannot really solve it at the time nevertheless i'm going to show you how the construction looks like we have the body of this lens adapter in front of the camera and then towards the front this 50 mm lens is being connected. This lens equals a 75 or 80 mm lens. Also in this case now I'm going to step in front of the lens. You see how a person standing in front of the camera would look like while speaking. And here you can also get an impression of the autofocus function. This is an ancient screw thread technology, which of course can be noticed by acoustics. So this 50mm lens together with this FS5 camera, it's already probably more part of the experimental realms. And to round up this video, we will go even more into the realm of extremes. This is actually almost quite crazy to connect such an old lens to such a high-tech video camera. The lens, by the way, it's also a pure photo lens. But nevertheless, we wanted to give it a try because of this quite impressive zoom range of this lens. The equivalent to something like 112 times 450 on the super 35mm sensor of the FS5. Which looks like that when you have a look at it from the outside. This ancient A-mount lens is connected via the LAEA4 adapter. Again, some kind of strange error message. It says that the functions, because of the state of the lens, cannot be applied. This is about the function of the automatic iris control. And also, unfortunately, it's not possible to control the iris manually through the menus of the camera. It's actually hard to explain why Sony did not make that possible. But maybe they could just never imagine that someone would come to the idea to connect such an old A-mount lens via this adapter to this high-tech FS5 camera. One last time I'm going to step in front of the camera here. Yeah, I should also take care of my head a little bit to look a little bit more nice. Ha ha ha. And then you can also see here how much the autofocus has to work hard to kind of try following the motif in front of the lens. I'm even going to turn around one time to make the picture a little bit more interesting. In the background we can even have a look at this very interesting sculpture in the middle of the water. And now to round up the video I'm going to take the camera away from the tripod and I'm going to zoom one second time towards this little quadrangular bell tower in the background that you saw already at the beginning of this video so that you somewhat can get an impression of this very impressive zoom range of this ancient lens. Thank you so much for having a look at this video here. For the case that you may be interested in such experimental camera reviews like this one, then please present us a thumb up or even follow this SLAP Schnittlabor channel to continue with this project also in near future. Thank you so much, very best wishes and see you soon.